Um, first up then, there's a new face of the Oval announced this week, Dylan Powers, from the MLS and Scottish Premiership. How did that come about? We tried to sign him in the summer and he had just finished with Dundee United and he'd had a, he had a... the season ended around January, February time, he had a bad concussion um, and we tried to sign him in the summer but he, he had to return to the States to get back to fitness again so we kept in touch with him, he played a, a season for Orange County, they won the league and it came up that he was, he was in pre-season with an MLS team through the January transfer window so we the window closed and we moved on but he was available as an out of contract pro and we moved quickly to, to get him in and I see somebody that's fit at the moment and should we expect to see in the future so yeah he, he had a full pre-season with an MLS team and he didn't earn a contract with them but he was in full completed a full pre-season up until the end of January there and Robbie, there's been a few times this season where we've maybe gone a little behind, but what is it with this team that doesn't seem to know that they're beating this season and, and keep going out till the very end? Well, I think we, we, we've got a group, great group of lads in there, um, and we're all you know fighting for the shirt and fighting for each other. Um, I think historically, that probably even the last year or two, we've been really good at coming from behind. Uh, in an ideal scenario, you don't want to find yourself behind, but uh, it's been something that we've been good at, and we've been great at picking up points um, from you know positions behind. But uh, you know it's not a bad trait to have, and you know it, it speaks volumes of our fitness. Uh, going into the last 10, 15 minutes of game, being able to nick a couple of goals, so it's been you know it's been a good thing to have in our locker. Has being full time helped with the fitness? Well, there's no doubt about it. Like you know, it's it's you know it's only normal that the more training you do, the fitter you get. So uh, I think it's definitely shown, probably more so this season than it did last. But uh, you know, as I say, it's it's a great you know it's a great weapon to have in the arsenal. And Cup football returns to the Oval on Saturday and it's top of the Championship against top of the Premiership. They've already beaten one point, so New are going to come here believing that they can come and get a result. Oh, absolutely. It's it's Cup football. Um, they're at the top of their league for a reason. They play good football when you let them. And in their league, they're the dominant team, so they're encouraged to play. They're coached the right way with Darren Mullen. Um, and they will expect to, you know, that's in their blood to play, so they're going to come here and... and and do exactly what they've been doing and they'll hope to get on top of us and, 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 and seek get a result. We've had difficult games against championship teams here in the last couple of years. You know, Porter Down was top of the championship two years ago. They took us the penalty kicks, you know, Queen's University last year. You know, so we're fully aware that if you don't perform on the day that these championship teams they're only championship teams by name. This is cup football and you're playing against eleven men and they're hungry to win, so we, we know we know that we have to show up and give a, a big performance. And we've seen a lot of COVID restrictions lifted around Northern Ireland over the last few weeks. Um, and Neffel have also meant their COVID policy, which means there'll be no more cancelled games due to COVID, as we saw last weekend. What are your thoughts on that? I think the timing was was probably right, you know, running in, in conjunction with the government guidelines. And, you know, I think Niffle's statement I think there was more to it than, than probably we know. Um, I think the policy was written with, you know, integrity as its key principle. You know, they, you have to rely on teams abiding by the policy, and I think it became, you know, a possibility that some were using it to their advantage. So, I would say if you're going to have a policy and everybody abides by it, it's great to have a policy. But if you have a team, you know, choosing to abuse the system or cheat the system. Then I suppose Niffle's logic is well, well, why bother having the policy? So it's uh, it's something that's not there anymore. It served its its time, but like I said, if if if, if a team's going to abuse that to have games called off, then um, I use the words of David Jeffrey. We were on a, a, a Zoom call recently with all the managers, and it was suggested that if any team was found to be abusing the COVID rules, that a, a points deduction would be a consideration. And David Jeffrey was very vocal and he said, please don't tell us that a points deduction will be considered if someone abuses or cheats the system. Tell us that a points deduction will happen if anyone cheats the system. And I think that's a fair comment from him and everyone on that call that night was in agreement. So we've moved on past that. I'm sure the players are relieved that, you know, and, and, and the clubs are, the games won't be cancelled at, at the drop of a hat. But it's a sign of the times and thankfully everybody's healthy within our group. And Robbie, it might not be obvious to the fans, but thinking about Newry on Saturday in the Cup, um, it's a different match ball for the Irish Cup than you'd usually train with. 
Maybe that's a first world problem. Does it make a difference to you when you're on the pitch though? Does it take 10, 15 minutes to get used to it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, we've trained with them on Tuesday uh, and tonight, so you know it's, it's no issue for us. We'll train with them tomorrow morning again. So listen, it's, you know, it's a ball full of air at the end of the day and you know, it doesn't make a bit of difference. And you've scored a lot of cup goals. What is it about cup football that brings out the best in you? I'm not too sure. I've always enjoyed the Irish Cup. Um, you know, I scored my first ever senior goal in the Irish Cup for Glenavon many years ago, so it's it's been one of those competitions that I've, I've loved to play in. And, you know, even for the club, it's got a great history in the Irish Cup, and you know I've, I've relished that and I really enjoyed it. But uh, you know, hopefully, you know we can keep our, our good record in the Irish Cup going, and uh, and try and get that sunny day in May. And both teams end with the game on Tuesday back in the league. Glen Torn first versus second this time against Cliftonville. From speaking to you, I think Cliftonville are a team you've a lot of respect for how they play football. Yeah, I think on their day, they're probably the most dangerous team in the league, no doubt about it. Um, Last year they were also a dangerous team. I don't think their pitch suited them the way they wanted to set up and play. Their new surface has really helped them a lot to, to build a rhythm and build a style of play. And They always tried to play but it was difficult for everyone going to solitude over the years. But you know, on their day right now they're, they're probably the most dangerous team in the league and we know that they're coming to our place on Tuesday night and it's, it's going to be a, a hell of a match for both of us.